Hello everybody, this is Sabro Finder 4. Uh, really sad news, but this is something that I feel obligated to cover as somebody that has been part of Yu-Gi-Oh! since the beginning from 2002. Over 20 years basically, if you think about it. Big part of my life, the card game, the anime, um, not so much the manga, but I do have a few manga Yu-Gi-Oh! books. But that's not the point. Uh, this I just got this news basically as I'm recording this, uh, just randomly. But Kazuki Takahashi, the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! has sadly passed away, uh, 60 years old. Uh, we don't know the cause, or what was the condition. But I, do, I did read a little bit that he was uh, at a resort. I don't know, fishing or where he was. Um, he was at the beach by the sea. And he just passed away and it happened. So this is definitely the end of an era. Um, of course, the guy, 60 years old, I'm a lot younger. I was going to probably be alive when he was going to pass away, but 60 years old, man. I mean, it, it's not super young, but it's not mega old either. And it's just really sad because we don't know what happened. Um, I don't know if he had any health problems or if just something happened at the place he was. Um, but it's just really sad. I don't know what else to say. Um, I really have to acknowledge and say rest in peace to Kazuki Takahashi. I'm always going to have the regret that I couldn't meet him at least once. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do, you know, meeting such a, a big shot person. Creator of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, basically. Um, if you think about what Yu-Gi-Oh! represents as a franchise, in ways rivaling Pokemon for some time, one of the biggest card games, uh, used to be the biggest card games, and perhaps it still is. Um, I'd say Pokemon is the biggest card game right now, but when it comes to Guinness records, when it comes to all the popularity and just coming up over the years, Yu-Gi-Oh! was number one, man. Um, the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game. You think about all of the money it's generated, uh, how it's such a key franchise of Konami. You know, the new, the recent Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel game, you know, make the game slowly becoming an eSport as well. And I'm not going to pretend the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game as a card game is perfect or is even close to how it was when I used to really like it. And maybe even Kazuki Takahashi would agree as a guy that I know he loved strategy games and he had a passion for uh, in-person, you know, tactical board games and strategy games that weren't necessarily video games. Um, Jay Witz, he has an amazing video um, where he talks about that, you know, how, how Yu-Gi-Oh! became the franchise we know today, like from the manga to the manga about the card game because before it was just about just all sorts of board games and strategy games not just the Yu-Gi-Oh card game and then it became the card game and then it became to an actual card game that you can play in real life not just the thing in a manga and an anime and it really is the end of an era man I don't know what else to say um, this guy passing away right now I seriously don't know what else to add. Um, I'm going to look into this a bit more. I'm very curious to find out uh, if he had any medical condition of what happened, how he died. But I just basically uploaded the, the video for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel announcement for alternate formats. I was planning to show some more Shadol matches tomorrow. And just in general, post some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel videos. And just this happens. I mean, I had to cover it. If it wasn't today, I was going to have to make a video tomorrow. I mean, for crying out loud, I really don't want to plug, and I'm not going to put it in the description or anything, but Yu-Gi-Oh! has been such a big part of my life that I basically wrote, wrote an entire book about classic Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, that, I was inspired to do that by Jason Klasinski, what he did for Pokemon on his WordPress page, you know, taking all of the classic sets one by one as they were staggered coming out, and basically playing the game with the knowledge he has today just retrying replaying everything as you know the key cards staggeringly came into the format of each format whether it was the base set you know wizard format uh, the neo genesis ex era dp era that sort of thing and i basically did the same just a lot more comprehensively with Yu Gi Oh. 
it's just no understatement to say that Yu-Gi-Oh has been an incredibly huge part of my life. And for many people, I mean, just think about all of the people. I mean, I pretty much wrote a book. I sold a few hundred copies, but it's not really a big deal if you compare it to all of the jobs, all of the careers uh, so many people have been able to do through Yu-Gi-Oh. Whether trying to play on a semi-professional level or a professional level, whether it's just Yu-Gi-Oh YouTubers, I mean, other positions like judges in tournaments. You just got to admit, if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan of some sort, like unless you just became a Yu-Gi-Oh fan recently, but if you've been like a Yu-Gi-Oh fan from the early beginnings or even from the GX era, 5Ds era, it doesn't matter. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh, it's been around for so many years. I mean, it is, it has been a big part of you somehow. Like, crazy, man. But that's, that's the reality. So I'm just going to leave it at this. I don't want to ramble too long about how I don't believe it. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all going to die sometime. But it's just, it's just sad. Um, I think he had a lot more to contribute. I mean, I, I don't think he had much to do with the Yu-Gi-Oh card game anymore. Or even the manga. But I'm not too sure about the manga. If he was like overseeing and other projects from other writers and stuff. But I think he must have had something more to offer. Either for the card game, for the franchise. Something more. You know? I mean, you think about how Akira Toriyama is still doing shit with Dragon Ball. Um, I think perhaps he could have contributed something more. But I guess it won't become a reality right now. Um... So, R.I.P., rest in peace, Kazuki Takahashi. I'm always going to have that small regret that I couldn't meet you in person at least once. But what can you do? You've given me this card game that's been with me for so many years. So, uh, I have to be grateful for that. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm going to leave it at that. And especially thank you to Kazuki Takahashi for creating the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game. R.I.P. Rest in peace, Kazuki Takahashi.